All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching the Eminence and Shadow episode nine. In the last episode, we had Sid just decimating uh, these fakers that were breaking into the school, killing them off one by one, really just giving them the absolute hands. Um, we had obviously the other shadows in the school as well, ready to strike. We had New, I believe, who was kind of being his liaison through the school um, as kind of working directly with him while the other shadows kind of were on standby um, and yeah just a very good episode uh, I presume some big fights about to happen potentially he just dusted but also it seemed one of the commanders looking guys um, betrayal was it something like that um, but yeah overall very excited for this episode so as always guys if you're new to the channel please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well and let's go into this episode right now. Bro, these guys are still fucking fighting and Sid is just handling everything inside. Bro, these fucking enemies do not know what they're in for, man. They are surrounded by our guys. I want to see how bad this guy fucking Ultron is. See if he actually, you know, puts up a fight for Sid. Oh, we did it. Now we can combine it with the other thing that's put up the barrier. Wow. Convenient. Bookshelf. Secret. Escape. <laughs> He's such a nerd. Oh, shit. Was there a mum killed or something? Oh, this must have been her parents. The, the dad we know now is the adopted father, isn't he? Wait, was that the dad? Is he the one that killed her mom? Hey, yo, what? I'm not reading this wrong, right? It very much seemed like he was the person that killed her mom. Or the silhouette just looked like him? I don't know. I'll, I'll find out. There's nothing left for you to do except guard her still because she's fucking a klutz. Motherfucker's dead, bro. Oh my god, what was that? Did someone get shot? We shooting students out here? Shit. Bro, are you gonna... How is that not just gonna set everybody off in a riot, bro? Oh, who are you? What are you gonna do? Throw it? Okay. Is it working? Okay. It definitely seems like it, yeah. Oh my god, she just kicked his head off? Or was that with the sword? Yeah, get these fucking bozos. Yeah, she's just standing there. Whoa, the way she just disappeared. Come on, Sid. Show up like the main character you are. Come on. Damn, sliced him in half. Was that her? Oh, shit. Let's go. And then the theme song starts playing. Fuck yes. My beautiful sword wielder. I can see here how that would be a problem. That he's not wearing a mask like he apparently does in the manga slash light novel. But, um... Damn, maybe all the characters are just dumb and can't see that that's it, you know? <laughs> I still do really like the um, the change in eye colour. Yeah? Oh, I thought they were like clones of himself, but no, it's just the uh, the rest of the squad. Yeah, you want on guard with this fool? Okay, no. Okay. This guy's just walking away? What the hell is this? Is it gas? Yeah, she's just staring, watching that. Like, oh, what's this thing? Emanating gas. Bro, the whole fucking school's going up. Jesus. What's he doing just standing there? Oh. Sid, come handle this guy. He's walking away so slowly. Well, there goes the school, I guess. Crazy. These guys ain't nothing but the fire department. 
They ain't done shit for this fucking school. I mean, they couldn't get in, but kind of useless still. Yeah, what's your beef? They look so fucking cool. I love the the like main squads like suits and stuff. This they, they look really freaking good. Oh shit, she's underground. Wait, don't tell me. Don't tell me the father's this guy. Come on. It's not right. Damn. It is him. Why'd you do this, bro? Thinking about it, I guess this guy has been sus since we were first introduced to him. Bit of an odd character. Why is he getting back into his own clothes? He's not going to fight or what? Is this going to get long? Damn said. Ah, uh, yep, yeah, so he did kill her. Fuck's sake. That sucks. Poor Sherry. That's a very fucked up way to kill someone. Sherry never knew. And you just had to be there standing behind her. God, she was even fucking oblivious when she was a child. I mean, obviously she's focused on something more important here, but my god, you'd know if someone was behind you. It's, meanwhile, Sid just here reading a book on a windowsill, looking badass. I trimmed the fat. Damn. Oh, damn, they are gonna fight. Took off all his armor for this, bro. In this small room, too. Oh, shit. This man is quick. Did you think that was enough to kill me? Shadow. Yeah? Shadow? Same fucking face. <laughs> I like how he got the information from this guy. As Sid. Died. Again. And then came back as Shadow. Why does everybody go berserk and transform in this anime? <laughs> What the hell is he turning into? Didn't even look like Sid moved then. His face is all fucked up, bro. Will we get a fight where it looks like Shadow Sid actually has to try? Probably not in season one. Is my guess. We walk down our own path. Let's go, Sid. Love that. He's probably going to be slain by the time Sherry gets here and she might not even know what happened to him. Stabbed him through the hand, dude. Oh, the kneecaps. Oh. He is just playing with his food right now. Damn. Did he stab him through the artifacts? Oh, no, just through the heart. But the artifacts broke because of that. Nice. Bro, he's fucking so skinny in that form, Jesus. That's not really a good image to leave, is it? She'll, she'll never know that her dad was the bad one, probably. Although he looks a bit fucked up here. I mean, I guess Sid doesn't really care. You're better off not knowing. Yeah. Damn, that sucks. I mean, at least he has sh the shadow you know, kind of look to fall back on. At least it's not Sid that did that. He accepts that guilt, but whether he actually feels it, that's another story. He do all this stuff to make the world a better place. That school fucked up. It's going to take a while to rebuild. Oh, and she's smiling at Sid. Damn. Damn. These new harem members leave as soon as they join. I hope he didn't make an antagonist out of her by doing this. He's so blunt with it. Yeah, maybe next time. See you later. Take out Shadow Garden. It's a secret? Bro, she better not become an antagonist in the future. You swear you'll what? 
You swear you'll what? Huh? You gonna leave it there? God damn it. Right, so that was The Eminence and Shadow, episode 9. Uh, I can't believe I didn't realise sooner that that's who that could be under the armour, but makes sense. Um, bit of a backstory leading up to that. I was very confused at the start because it definitely seemed like the adoptive father was the one who killed her mother, just from the silhouette and kind of the situation. And then he kind of, he was also standing there in the funeral scene. Obviously correct. I should have known this sooner. Um, but yeah, Sid sorted him out, decided to play the villain in this role and not let her realise that what her father truly was. Probably make her more sad and give her a lot of trauma, probably being raised by the person who killed her mother. Um, but yeah, uh, it was a really freaking good episode and I'm definitely looking forward to the next part now. I believe there's 20 episodes in this uh, first season, which is cool. So we've got, like, got a lot more episodes to go, which is great. I'm looking forward to the future arcs and uh, yeah, hopefully at some point soon, Someone can give Shadow Sid actually a challenge. But I also do like him seeing him just decimate his opponents with the flick of the wrist, you know? But yeah, anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching my reaction. Have a nice rest of your day and peace out.